Okay, so Burst is essentially the God Eater series' mega buff. When you are in Burst, you have access to your Burst Arts, as well as a whole lot of other skills that are only available during Burst. It's worth emphasizing that the attack and defense and otherwise auxiliary increases are tremendous. And it's really important that all players understand the way the burst system works, as well as try to be in burst 3 at all times whenever possible. Yeah. Alright, so for starters, your burst gauge is indicated by the yellow or red bar at the bottom of the screen. Now, there are three, three levels of burst, with each level granting even more increases and effects than the previous level. Now, this level is indicated by the number that is next to the bar on the burst gauge. Right, so when we're talking about burst, there's two main topics that we need to talk about. The first is about keeping your burst, and the second is about increasing your burst level. Right, so looking at the gauge again, the gauge is a bar that slowly dwindles down over time. Now, when this, when this bar depletes completely and reaches zero, it means that your burst will end and you will lose all of the benefits that burst grants you. Now we don't want that, we want to stay in burst, we want to replenish this bar so we can extend the duration to stay in burst. Now there's two ways of keeping burst. The first and most fundamental way to keep burst is through devouring. There are three different kinds of devourers. There's charge devour, quick devour and air devour. Now the charge devourer is done by holding down triangle on the ground. This is a move with a very slow startup time and a long recovery. It's very unsafe, but it grants you a full burst gauge in return. Now the next one is the quick devour, which is done by pressing R1 plus triangle on the ground. This is a relatively fast devour, grants you about 50% of a burst gauge. The last one is the air devour. This is done by pressing R1 plus triangle in the air. This is probably one of the most safest devourers depending on what you're fighting because you stay airborne for the entire attack. It also grants you about a 40% or so burst gauge. Now when you're talking about devouring, you only, your burst gauge is only replenished when you successfully complete the entire devour. If you get hit out of the devourer, you lose everything. You don't gain anything from the devourer. You would have failed to replenish your burst gauge. So yes, make sure to complete your devourer. And devouring is actually one of the most important aspects of becoming an experienced God Eater player. Because to devour successfully, you always have to look for an opening on an attack. Or you have to understand the way the Aragami's attack patterns work so that you can exploit it by landing successful devours. And you are rewarded in staying by staying in burst. Right. So the other way of replenishing your burst gauge is by using a special item called the Burst Inducer. Now what this item does is, it consumes a little bit of your HP and grants you burst as a trade-off. Now even though this item uses your HP, sometimes it's considerably safer to use a burst inducer since you're essentially just using an item as opposed to going for a risky devourer or something like that. Now this item does use some rare materials and it is specially crafted from the terminal, but thankfully these materials can be purchased from Hope, who is the traveling merchant. She appears sometimes after missions. Note that she doesn't always carry these materials, but when she does, make sure that you purchase them. Um, if you're looking for English names on the materials, I will have them in the video description below. Right, so that's it for replenishing your burst gauge. Now remember, the two main ways of replenishing your burst gauge is by devouring and by using burst inducers. Use the two interchangeably to stay in burst. Always consider that using an item is faster than going looking for a devourer. So if you're really, 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 really low down on the burst gauge, sometimes it's easy to just pop an item. Right. Now moving on to the second topic that I discussed earlier. This is increasing your burst level. So when we talk about increasing your burst level, we gotta talk about link burst bullets. Now link burst bullets are earned as a sub-product from devouring. A charge devourer gets you three link burst bullets and quick and air devourer gets you one. Your link burst bullet count is indicated on the right of the screen above your custom and standard bullets. Right. So the purpose of a link burst bullet is to give burst levels to your teammates. Now to do this you enter gun mode and you aim at a teammate. When you're aiming at a teammate, you press R1 plus triangle to fire a link burst bullet at them. Note that this is the same command as the quick and air devourers. So once you fire the link burst bullet and it hits a teammate, their burst level is increased by one. 
This means that if they were in burst 1 and you hit them with 2 link burst bullets, they will now be in burst 3. Also take note that when you fire a link burst bullet at a teammate, you completely replenish their burst gauge. So even if your teammates are already in burst 3, it's still important to still hit them with link burst bullets. Um, as well as, it's also worth mentioning that link burst bullets do not have any other use. The only use for link burst bullets is to give your teammates burst. And honestly, it doesn't take very long, like you just take 5 seconds out of the battle, aim at your teammate, give them burst and then go back to what you were doing. Yes. Um, since you can only give link burst bullets to your teammates and not receive them yourself, this means that you cannot give burst levels to yourself. There is an, exam there is an exception to that, but I'll get to that later. Now, the only way to get burst 3 is for your teammates to send link burst bullets to you. Right. But there is an, there is an exception. The engage system. When you engage with a partner, your burst gauge becomes shared with the partner. Now what this means is that if you were to engage with someone and give them link burst bullets, both you and your partner will increase in burst level. So you can use this to give burst 3 to yourself, in a way. Yes, so just, just to round up everything that I've said in this video. To maintain your burst, you have to devour. And you, or you have to use burst inducers. And to increase your burst level, you have to receive link burst bullets from your teammate, or you have to engage with the teammate and give link burst bullets to them. I know it sounds very complicated when I say it like that, and this game has a lot of microsystems and stuff going on, but out of all of them, burst is the most important, and it's really, really imperative that all players understand how the burst system works. So. If you have any questions or anything like that, or you feel like I explained things inadequately, please tell me in the, in the um, comments below. And yeah, I think I'm going to end this video here. Uh, that's all I have to say. So yes, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. This has been BK Brent. And Korewa Game Dear Demo, also be there and I. See ya.